remember the water. It is hydrogen peroxide. And if you know, I think many of you know what is hydrogen peroxide, right? If something, many of you, when you have wounds, many people give you hydrogen peroxide to wash because that is a good oxidizing agent. So that is used. So hydrogen peroxide is a good thing. So now if you take hydrogen peroxide and if you take water, both of them are different. Water you can take without any problem because it is harmless. But if you take hydrogen peroxide, no. We just cannot do it because it will completely damage. It is as good as an acid. So that means here the number of atoms and the number of uh, types of atoms they determine the properties of the mass. Now if you take some of the examples, like for example here I have oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, chlorine, iodine. And like these clusters, for example carbon dioxide is made up of one carbon and two oxygens. Similarly if you go here, water, H2O. You have a hydrogen and you have two hydrogens and one oxygen. So similarly, like these molecules are made by bringing together atoms. So some more examples of these molecules wherein atoms are here and these places come together. They are like a cluster. Now, for example, if you take when these clusters also they have a different nature. For example, if it is coming from the same element, then it is like this. If it is coming from two different uh, elements, for example, like water and oxygen, it comes like this. And if you have a mixture, it comes like this. So you have three different types of the molecules which are all coming together. Now these are, uh, you have, you know, for example, if you want to call that group as X, Y, Z, how do you, then these are all again formula which you just want to say, you know, it shows that how many compounds, how many atoms are present and in which form they are present. And then these are represented by, this is a very important slide because Later on, when we show some of the structures, this is what matters. When you have to select, say, six carbons and hydrogen, six hydrogen, you can also have six hydrogen carbons and hydrogen, or 12 hydrogen. These two, you can also write like this. And you can also write, like, for example, methanol is there. So you can write, like, one car, two carbons, which are attached by covalent bonds, and also hydrogen and oxygen. And you can also write different ways. And this same C6H6 can also be written like here. So can anybody tell what is C6H6? C6H6. Very good. So now C formula is that determining that. And when you look at the chemical formulas, don't try to buy hard the chemical formula. If you try to buy hard the chemical formula, you miss a lot. For example, instead of writing H2O, if you just write H2O2, and give it to somebody and say that, okay, give H2O to that person. Then immediately the next day, the next moment you can say, you have to take him and uh, to to a hospital. Right? So you have, don't buy hard. Try to understand the nature of atoms. See, for example, some very, you, you, you take a typical example today. You have a very reactive chain, reactive fire. And you have another person who is very mild. If you try to put, put both of them, the reactive chain will try to meet the minor. If you try to put both of them are reactive, then I think it will always be quarrel. I think they will be out of the school the very next day. So you when you look at from the team, you have to see the nature of that. For example, whenever you are giving something, you have to see what will be there reactive. Okay, so now this is a just a see to understand why I am putting these structures here. In future, you may be coming up for some of these structures which you will try to understand. And I think when you, these atoms are coming together, so there are something at the RDA road, there are some covalent bonds which are strong. There are some hydrogen bonds, they are not exactly covalent, they are like a hollow hollow five type of a relations. Where one water molecule will come from here, one water molecule will come, but they will not have any permanent part. Today they will be there, tomorrow they will not be there. So this example, that means they are very weak parts. So why we can say this is, for example, if you take the water here. So can you say 
when you take water, I think this is something which is normally taught in the schools. Water exists in three different forms. Which are the forms? Very good. Okay, you have ice, you have water, and you have water there. Right? So, what is the difference between all three of them? One is in the solid, one is in the liquid, and one is in the gaseous state. You can see this form here, what I have just shown before, these hydrogen bonds are weak bonds which are formed. And when these hydrogen bonds which are actually making these com compounds come together, for example, if they are packed together through these hydrogen bonds, then they become a solid because they become very dense. For example, when you try to distance them, then it becomes what? When you try to separate them completely, it becomes a weak bond and finally they will be like, they will be coming together but they will not be really something which is there. So only the molecules will be running. It is like our clusters of students. When they have come together, when they are packed in an auditorium, they are one. But when you try to distance them, try to put a little bit here and there, then once in a while they keep meeting, that may be like a warm uh, water. The moment you go out of the school, maybe after uh, completing your education, you once in a while you keep uh, calling and saying hello. It is like that. So now, it is a simple principle, but this you try to understand it at atomic level. This is the same thing which will actually be the main principle based on the chemistry.